I'm first generation Cuban American. My parents came to this country as immigrants, as teenagers, not knowing the language, not knowing the culture. They wanted my brother and I to become better and bigger than they ever were. As the eighth largest district in the nation, we represent urban, rural, and suburban populations. Some struggle with basic needs, food, shelter, clothing, and some struggle with access to enrichment programs and technology and, you know, things that allow kids to grow and learn. We have some students who are homeless, some of them that are just living out of a motel on a day-to-day -day basis. These students at school are also my children, all 600 of them. I care about them as if they were my own. My goal is for them to reach their potential and be successful, lifelong learners, just as my parents raised me to be. It's really important for community members and partners to come alongside principals because a lot of people don't recognize that kids are with us only 34% of the time. So we've got to pack a whole bunch of stuff inside their day. So it's really important that partners come alongside to extend learning, to provide enrichment activities, and give kids a general opportunity to learn differently based on their needs. Students who have no access to resources or have little opportunity, again, they fall through the cracks. I can't imagine having not having someone for you, for them, to help support them and help bring them up. So the Jameis Winston Dream Room, while it's not available to all students in the district, it's an example of what partners can do when they work alongside educators and provide, you know, opportunity for kids that they wouldn't have otherwise. The Dream Room has been an inspiration, not just cultivating creativity, it's fostered friendship. It's inspired our students. I want to be successful and like, I, I want to have fun at my job, you know? I want to like, um, like what I'm doing and I want to have like a creative job. Now having these resources here available, these students are exposed to a lot more. They know more about technology than I do, just working and practicing in this room. It makes me feel good, you know, like, um, like somebody is helping the school out and it helps me out. It saddens me to think that in 30 years from now, poverty is still gonna be around. Critical teacher shortage is still going to be around. And the lack of resources is still gonna be around. What we want for students, teachers, and principals is to not be bogged down by the politics of education. I think we can acknowledge that we can do better. I think we can do better. We must do better. We want students to learn and grow. We want teachers to feel enriched by what they do. And we want principals to be respected for the work that they do by the community. We are one school with only 700 students. What Jameis has done here has made a huge difference, not just for our students, but our entire community. We can't do it alone. Jameis and I are just one. What about those thousands of students? that could use the same opportunities that we have had here at Alexander.